Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to add your RGB LEDs to your flight controller, the WS2812 RGB LEDs. Now these LEDs are found everywhere, all over the internet, so you can grab a pair. They come in all sizes and shapes and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. So the aim of this tutorial is just to be a quick intro to get you going so you don't have to scour the internet to uh, actually do it and seeing people make things a lot more complicated than it really needs to be actually. So let's just start now. Now first of all, as you can see I have power to, to my flight controller, but let's just skip this now. We had that in the previous um, tutorial. So on this flight controller, if you check the documentation, there is two ports that can control these RGB LEDs. All right. Now take note of the arrow here. It's pointing down so you, you can follow along with me without losing your orientation. Now the first port is number seven on this connector. <clears throat> now how do you find number seven? Well, pretty simple. Uh, there's one and then there's eight. So that means it's counting down this way. So seven would be right here. Okay, and then there's another port which is on the back side and it's actually a pad and it's right there. Now there's also next to it 3.3 volt. Now this, I mean, common sense would probably tell you, oh, I'll just power it from here, but that's not really a great idea because these take five volts. So we're gonna be powering off the LEDs from the, <clears throat> from the guardrail here from the power rails right there. So you can either solder it here or use a connector. We're gonna be using a connector in this tutorial just to make our life a little bit easier. So let me grab a connector, plug it in, and we see what's the next step. All right guys, so I plugged in the connector and I've cut all the wires off here as you can tell just so uh, nobody gets lost. So we wanted pin number seven which is right here, which is right before the eight. So that is right there. So that's pin number seven. So. Now let's jump to the LED and let me just explain to you how these LEDs work. All right, so here's the RGB LED. Now if we take a look on the back side, and they all come exactly the same. They have an in, VCC, and ground, and they, most of them do have an out, VCC, and ground. Now forget the out part, we don't need that now. So VCC is basically power, ground is basically ground, in is where your flight controller would need to tell this what to do. Now, how do you know the order? How does it turn on? How does, you know, all these kinds of things. So these LEDs have this little IC chip in them. So they're, they're basically smart LEDs. So the first LED connected to the, because they're connected, they're connected in serial right there. So the first LED is, would be number one. The second would be number two. But now how do you know which one's the first? Well, that's pretty easy. It depends. I mean, if you have a strip, then it's the first one right next to where you connected the in. Here, it's a bit more complicated. Uh, we won't know until we put it into beta flight and we just turn on the first and second LED, then we'll know which orientation it's going. So what we're going to do here is pin number seven, as you saw from the flight controller, we're going to put it on the in right here. And we're going to power it off the bottom rail with VCC and ground. So let me get that done real quick. All right. So I got myself some connectors. We're gonna give it brown as ground, and we're gonna give it red as VCC. All right, and then I have a little orange little guy right here, and we're gonna have him be the in port. So this is done here. Now let's take a look how to connect it to the flight controller. All right, so we have the pin in, and this is number seven, okay? And we just got the LED right here, and we had the orange wire is the in. So yeah, that's just slipping out like that. Okay, that's great. So this would be the in, and this would be pin number seven on the flight controller. And now we plug it in, okay? So in theory, now we have completely uh, connected the LED. Now just pretend I soldered the power and the negative right here on this rail, which is basically the same thing I'm doing because I'm running off of a power bench. So um, it's a, it's exactly what I'm doing. So just pretend I soldered them here. So you would solder them right there and you should be fine. Now, if we turn it on, nothing will happen until we enable the LED strip option in beta flight. And I'll show you how to do that. Once you do that, your LEDs should all turn white. That is the default. And um, let's get that started with. Let's check out the beta flight real quick now. All right, guys, now we're in beta flight. What you want to do first is go to configuration tab and then you want to scroll down to these right here, which is other features. And then the LED strip option is right there. So just enable that and then save and reboot. All right, now let's apply, a pl let's, let's apply power to the uh, LED and the flight control and see what happens now. 
All right, so the flight control is connected via USB. Now I'm gonna apply power to the rails and which is gonna apply power to the LED. And if everything goes great, then they should light up white. And there we go, they're white now. So now let's hop back into Betaflight and change the first LED to green. All right, so now we're back in Betaflight. And as you can see, we have a new tab, it's called LED strip. So let's click on that. And then you get this grid right here and it's just it looks a bit confusing but it's really not now what we need to do is figure out the first led so first of all we need to tell it the wiring order so we're going to start by going into wire ordering mode and then you can just click on any of these and that's zero now why does it start with zero it's just because pro in programming languages the first thing is usually zero so that's why it starts counting from zero so that would be one for us all right so we pop out of wiring mode we click on it and then let's go to functions we set it to color and we're gonna make it green and then we're just gonna save so here's save all right now let's take a look at our LED so it's a bit difficult to see but there's the first one so that's LED number one now this this is useful when you have some kind of weird LED in, which comes in a weird shape so let's go back into wire ordering mode and then we're gonna set which one, which would be the number two LED. And let's go to color, and we're gonna say hmm, something easy for you guys. It will say blue, and we're gonna say blink always. So here's save, and now let's take a look at the uh, LED. And that's number two. So let's go again, and we're gonna add number three. And the orientation of these, uh, Wherever you put the squares here, it does not matter. It does not change anything. Um, it's very simple and straightforward. Now we're going to go in wiring order. We're going to add all, I think, eight I have here. One, two, three, six, twelve, I think. So we're just going to add all these. And let me just skip over. I'm going to make them all yellow now. All right, guys. So it turns out I have 12 LEDs on this circle. And uh, I didn't have room, so I accidentally just uh, went one down here. So this is 12. It says 11 right there. So uh, because it started with zero, so it's going to say it's 11. Now let's take a look at the LED. And it's all yellow. Now what I like to do is um, is I would like to set it to the arm, which is if it's disarmed, it's red. And if it's armed, it's green. So you would go to arm state. So first let's take LED number zero, which is one. We go to arm state. And then see, disarmed is green. We're gonna say disarmed is, yeah, keep it green. And when it's armed, to turn red. And we're gonna take the next one and do the same thing. We're gonna say arm, this arm state. And then it kept my configuration. Yes, it did, that's pretty awesome. Now I can't sh arm it because I don't have a, uh, anything connected to it, but this is that's all it is really. And then we're just gonna save it. And now since it's uh, disarmed, those are green. So, so that's basically it really. Now, I mean, if you wanted to go to uh, some kind of, to blink modes and orientation uh, right there. So you would say orientation, so you have north, south, east, and all that stuff. So you would say when it goes forward, um, and then you can just change the color, so yeah. So that, that just, it, it, for every, you know, if you're going north, it'll be white, which is front. When you're going east, it'll turn purple, and that's all it does. And if you want to say blink always, it'll blink always. And that is it for that right, right there, really. Now, battery, I really love the battery, because if you're flying line of sight, it's very useful. So it changes color, and if it drops too, too much down, it'll turn green, because these LEDs, um, the green is the lowest amp draw, so it doesn't have enough power to sometimes just power up the LEDs. So they'll just turn green once you sucked a lot of the juice out of the battery. So that's just something to note of. Um, and it changes color. Uh, it has its own, I, f I forgot the colors that it does. So it changes colors uh, to tell you how much, uh, I think red blinking is right before uh, your battery is gonna die. And after that, I think it just turns green. So that's just something to note there. And um, yeah, let's see what else we have. 
So that's really going to conclude it for the LEDs. I mean, it's pretty simple. Just keep playing with those options and you'll get it. Um, this is just a basic setup and just to get you going. Um, and as you see, it started counting like this. You would think this is the first, but it turns out this was the first. So this was the last, actually. So just play with it, and then you'll figure out the orientation. And the grid does not do anything, so you could have it one in every place. It's just the number that counts there. And, um, and I mean, it's good because let's just say you have one, two, and three in the back, one, two, and four, five, six in the front. So you could just put them in the grid like that, so you'll know uh, which LED is what LED. And that is, I think, the only reason for it why they did it that way just to make it easier for you and the limit is 32 leds uh it comes from beta flight i think yeah it's 32 leds so you really can't add more than 32 leds and that's gonna conclude it guys really um it's it's very simple just one wire power and you're set to go really um if you guys have any suggestions or any 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 comments or anything just feel free to let me know and i'm trying to make these as easy and as simple as possible for you guys so it doesn't get too crazy and, and you just scour the internet for the simplest things so that's going to conclude it for this video guys i really hope it helped you out and that's it see you guys take care happy flying please don't forget to like and subscribe see ya